Welcome back. I am Pratap here. Today is the 21st December 2023. If this is your first video you are attending at our channel, please understand we are providing free training on supply demand zone price action theory. And this free training videos are available under the playlist supply demand zone price action course. And all the training videos are available under this playlist. So starting from lesson 1.1 until the most recent lesson are available. Even the upcoming lessons also will be available under this playlist. And I am providing the link to this playlist in this YouTube video description. Even you can access the, all the links from our Telegram channel, even the link to our Neostock Telegram channel in this video description. So you can access those links. Now let us analyze the high liquidity zones generated in our yesterday's report. Let us identify the trades that are executed today. The first one is CoForge. This is a dairy high liquidity zone. And we have fine tuned this high daily high liquidity zone with 75 minutes high liquidity zone. We have drop base rally. And here inside again we identified a 15 minutes zone. Actually two 15 minute zones we have identified. This is the first one. You have a legging candle, base candle and a rally candle. Similarly, another one, a drop, two base candles and a legging candle. I mean, a leg out candle. You know, generally, when you identify a zone, which is on lower time frame zone, at the distal line of the higher time frame zone. See, this is the 15 minute zone. This is at the distal line of the daily zone. Most of the times, institutions keep bear traps because this is a demand zone. They will keep a bear trap just below this zone. If you look into five minutes, you will be able to understand. See here we have a drop base rally and these bear traps are having a lot of significance. The reason is when prices are reaching this the bottom most fine tuned demand zone there are two possibilities. One possibility prices enter into this zone and again they will go back. The second possibility this zone the fine tuned zone at 5 minutes or 15 minute zone at the distal line of the 75 minute zone or daily zone most of the times they will be violated because they are violated our stop loss will be triggered and what we will do we will exit from our long orders that means you go for short if you want to exit long you should go for short orders. And all these short orders are consumed by the institutions at this trap zone, just below this zone. Because this demand zone is trapping all the sell orders, that means it is trapping the bears. We call this demand zone, the 5 minutes demand zone, below this daily zone. Or it could be even 15 minute zone also, below this daily zone. We call them as a bear traps because these zones are trapping, trapping all the short orders. So that is the reason why whenever you identify a fine-tuned zone at the distal line of the daily zone or 75 minute zone, if you identify, definitely you will identify a trap just below this. This is bear trap. If it is above the supply zone, we call them as a bull trap. 
So this is one important observation you have to make. So that's why whenever you do analysis, always you identify a bear trap also below the demand zones. Just below the distal line you will be able to see. Here uh, this uh, uh, bear trap and the demand zone, daily demand zone, a very slight gap is there. Sometimes you see a small gap, maybe it is visible to your eyes. Now the difference is very small, you see a small line below this. Looks like a very thin line. Please remember this is a very important concept. Why it is an important concept? Today such kind of situation happened in one of the high liquidity zones we identified yesterday. But this one is not executed because prices haven't reached into this fine-tuned area today. That means Coforge, we didn't get the entry. But the important point you have to learn, when you identify a fine-tuned zone at 5 minutes or 15 minutes, at the distal line of the daily zone, just below that you can identify a trap. So always try to mark the traps. Most of the times these traps in case your fine-tuned zone is stopped out, again prices will move up from this trap zone. We will see one such kind of example today. Even before that, there is one more stock, Lalpat Lab. We did not get the entry. This is also a daily high liquidity zone. We have a rally base rally. Inside we fine tune to 75 minutes. Here we identified a rally base rally. Again inside that 75 minutes, identified a 15 minute zone. So here we have a drop we have a base candle and a rally candle. And this drop base rally area, again I fine-tuned and identified the 5 minute zone. And that 5 minute zone I have drawn here. So we have a small leg candle and then a base candle and a leg out candle. So drop base rally. This is what, that means we fine tuned at the 5 minutes level. See, same technique we will use for most of these stocks, almost all these stocks. And today again, the prices did not reach into this fine tuned area. We didn't get the entry even in Lalpata, Dr. Lalpata labs. And next one is UBL. UBL is also a daily high liquidity zone. We have a rally base rally. But look here, we identified two, inside this daily zone, we identified two 75 minute zones. Two fresh 75 minute zones. This is a 75 minutes time frame. See here we have, this is a ERC candle and then two base candles and a leg out can it is not a great leg out but if you properly if you zoom in or zoom out you will be able to see again we have a rally candle base candle rally candle that way we have drawn two 75 minute zones again i fine tuned both these 75 minute zones to the 15 minutes time frame and then five minutes time frame see here we have a drop four base candles rally and again, when I fine-tuned this area with 5 minutes, I got this zone. Similarly, here also we have a leg candle, 3 base candles and a, rally, and a leg out candle, drop base rally. So this entire area we have 15 minutes area and that again we further fine-tuned to 5 minutes level. Let me show you the 5 minutes level, how we fine-tuned. The actual zones we have drawn where we identified the origin. See here, we have a drop, base, rally. Even you can draw one more here. We have leg in, base, leg out. But some people may consider this is also leg candle, this is also leg candle, 
this is also like candle that way they don't draw the zone but this is a clear zone because this is a tiny candle drop base candles are tiny candles and then we have a leg out so this is the 5 minute zone similarly here also this is a t this is a leg candle a small leg candle three base candles and a leg out so these are the different ways you can find tune your zones but today again prices entered into this zone this 75 minute zone this 75 minute zone again we have drawn this is overlapped with the daily high liquidity zone so this 75 minute zone prices entered but they did not reach up to the fine tuned area because always we take our entry at the fine tuned area most of the time we fine tune at 5 minutes or 15 minutes so prices did not reach see before this fine tuned area itself prices moved up so we can consider this is a rejection next time again when prices are entering into this zone probably we may get an opportunity when we get the opportunity again if you find stock near this demand zone always remember we trade only on the stocks near demand zone that we are publishing on today will be traded only tomorrow whatever the results i am publishing today they will be traded only tomorrow whatever the uh, results i produced yesterday they will be traded today that is stocks near demand and supply zone even yesterday's video also clearly explained the most of the people are making few mistakes regarding the usage of high liquidity zones so that's why yesterday video i clearly explained the common mistake most of the people are making okay this is about united beverages even in this zone also we did not get entry and next one is wipro wipro is also a high liquidity zone daily high liquidity zone we have a leg uh, leg in four base candles sorry five base candles and again a leg out so here we have drawn a zone and this zone again we fine tune to 75 minutes this daily high liquidity zone we fine tune to 75 we have a drop four base candles again a rally drop base rally and again this area we fine tune to 15 minutes in the 15 minutes area we identified a leg candle base candle and a rally candle so leg in base and rally this is 15 minutes area this 15 minutes area fine tune to 5 minutes area if the risk is less you can directly take entry in 15 minutes but before taking entry we should look for the structure of the candles at 5 minutes so we have a leg in five base candles and a leg out that way at 5 minutes level we have fine tune but wipro also we did not get entry even the prices just entered into this daily zone but i haven't reached into fine tuned area and next one is aditya birla fashion technology and we got an entry today first let me show you this is a 75 minutes zone this is a 75 minutes demand zone this is a 75 minutes high liquidity zone so we have a drop two base candles and a rally and this 75 minute zone we fine tune to 15 minutes zone we have a drop three base candles and a rally candle because you need to add the hidden body so this is generally if you don't add the hidden body it looks like a drop candle but you have the moment you add a hidden body green color candle within this gap this is looking like drop base rally previously also we discussed such kind of zones 
the zones having hidden body and hidden uh, uh, zones they have higher success rate if they are inside the high liquidity zones this is a this is the five, five minutes which is inside the 15 minutes the one i shown you is five minutes not 15 minutes if you want to see this is a erc candle this is a leg in you have four base candles and we have a leg out with hidden hidden body and this one we find you into five minutes the one i already shown you this we have a drop three base candles and rally and today we got an entry in this zone and reached the 15 minutes target we have a drop candle base candle and again a drop candle dbd this is the 15 minutes supply zone which is the target so abfrl has given now 12,870 rupees profit and which is 8.78 percent ROI return on the investment for one future slot. 12,870 is a good profit. And the next one is l and Mine Tree. LTI mine tree. Even this is also a 75 minute zone. A 75 minutes demand zone. We have a rally base, four base candles, and again a rally. And this one fine tuned to 15 minutes area. Inside that, we identified the a 15 minute zone. We have a drop, one, two, three, four base candles, and then a leg out. And this area again fine tuned to five minutes time frame. Five minutes, the structure is even more clear. So here we have a rally candle as a leg in, two base candles, and then we have a leg out. So the lowest of these base candles and the lowest of the leg out candle, that should be the distal line. So today we have drawn this five minute zone and today we got the entry, excellent, a very beautiful entry here. The price has entered into this zone. And after that, it reached the, the 15 minutes demand zone area. Let me show you the 15 minutes demand zone. So we have a ERC candle, we have a base candle, and then we have a leg out, ERC. After that, prices went up and it is pierced. But after that, again, prices came down. It's a pierced zone. But this is our target. Today it reached the target. So this is another successful trade. And the LTI mine tree has given a profit 27,315 rupees profit for one future slot during the intraday. And which is 15.85% ROI as per one future slot. So excellent profit, so excellent trade, because this is the first trade during the morning. If you look into this one minute, the morning 9.15 candle, the price is entered and after that a rejection, then rest of the day the prices were moving, moving. And finally at 10 o'clock, 13 minutes, it reached the target. That means, Within one hour, the trade is completed.
And the next one is the last one. Mahindra and Mahindra Finance, M and M Finance. See, this is a 75 minute zone. We have a drop, two base candles and a rally candle. And this is a 75 minutes, so we fine tuned at 15 minutes time frame. So in the 15 minutes time frame, we have a drop, you have a base candle, and then we have a rally candle, drop base rally. So the structure is looking excellent in 15 minutes. Then look into the 5 minutes. So here again we have a like we have a ERC candle as a leg in and then two base candles and then you can consider this as a leg out but not a great leg out structure but after that we have a follow through candle because there is a follow through candle we can consider this as a leg out okay but five minutes so risk is high compared to the 15 minutes time frame. The 5 minute structure is okay, but 15 minutes if you go, your risk is even much smaller. The type 2 proximal entry is smaller than 15 minutes, uh, sorry this is 15 minutes. This is smaller than 5 minutes uh, type 2 proximal entry. That's why what I did, I, we, stick it to the, we stick it to 15 minutes. Because this is a smaller and a reasonable risk we have here. But I already told you, what is that I told you in the first, in the beginning of the session? If you have any fine-tuned zone, what is a fine-tuned zone? Here this is the 15 minute zone or 5 minute zone. Where exactly this zone is there? At the distal line of the 75 minutes high liquidity zone. If there is any fine-tuned zone, at the distal line of the 75 minute zone, most of the time institutions will keep a trap just below this. Now you have some considerable gap between this, the 5 minutes fine tuned inside 75 minutes high liquidity zone and the this is the 5 minute zone which is acting as a bear trap. There is small gap, considerable gap, you can able to see. See, sometimes this trap is almost very close to this distal line. Sometimes a small difference is there. This is a very small difference. This is at the 5 minutes. Let me show you at the 5 minutes time frame. We have an excellent... Rally candle, base candle, again a rally candle, after that another follow through candle. So we have a rally, base rally. And this is the immediately available 5 minute zone below the 75 minutes high liquidity zone. And this zone will be acting as a bear trap. You know what institutions will do? They create a fine-tuned zone at the distal line. If this zone is violated, what happens? Immediately, 75-minute zone also will be violated. Those who fine-tuned at 5 minutes, those who without fine-tuning directly took an entry at the 75 minutes, for both these traders, their orders will be stopped out when this distal line is violated. That means the 75 minute zone traders and 5 minute zone traders or 15 minute zone traders. For all these people, the stop loss will hit at the same time because it is a common digital line for all these time frames. That means institutions will get a enough liquidity 
because the moment our stop loss is hit what we do we will generate our short orders because we took a trade at a long order at a long entry so they go for short entries short entry means short trades why we go for short trades because our stop loss is hit so you need to square off your trade that means you need to complete your trade because you need to square off your trade because there is a stop loss hit definitely you go for a short trade and all these short trades are captured by the institutions in the zone just below this 75 minutes high liquidity that's why in the first stock also what is the first stock in uh, hoforch also we have identified a trap even this stock also we identified a trap okay why we do, why, why we do there are two things will happen here uh, please observe carefully when prices reach this zone the one we fine tuned inside high liquidity zone prices enter and uh, the pending orders will push the prices up that is possibility number 1 possibility number 2 this zone will be violated it looks like a institutional pending orders will be there what institutions will do all their orders or pending orders they will be moved inside this bear trap that means this zone will be very weak there are no more pending orders because all the pending orders they moved to this trap area so this zone will be easily violated the moment the zone is violated our stop loss will it and we will exit from our trades with short orders all those short orders will be captured by institute institutions in this demand zone so for that what we have to do if this zone is or the first zone of the first 5 uh, minutes or 15 minutes zone fine tuned in the high liquidity zone is violated then immediately you need to take your next trade at this uh, bear trap so that means uh, people will do in two way the first approach is they combine both these zones that means this this uh, demand zone inside 75 minutes fine tuned is demand zone and whatever you are seeing the gap area the white color area and again the another demand zone that is acting as a bear trap they combine this entire area they keep it as one zone when you combine if the risk is within your accepted level you take an entry here but your stop loss is a distal line of the bear trap that is one approach people will follow second approach what they do if the risk is high if when you combine both these zones if the risk is high what we do we take an order here if it is stopped out we will exit from this trade again when prices enter into this trap area again we take one more entry a fresh entry either way you can do but for this particular stock you can approach both these approaches when you combine both these zones the total risk is uh, around 2.0 Uh, 03 that means close to 2% the maximum acceptable risk for one uh, for your capital is maximum 2% for one trade on your capital maximum 2% risk you can accept so when you combine both these zones together and if you consider this is the entry and the uh, bear trap is area is a stop loss i mean uh, the bear, the bear trap uh, distal line is the stop loss this entire trade is will be considered as one trade that is one approach or another approach take these two as a two separate trades if first zone if prices entered and go back definitely there won't be any stopped out trade but if you want to consider both these the first one is stopped out you have to accept the stopped out trade immediately when prices enter into this bear trap immediately you have to take another trade you should not disappoint because it is stopped out because as per our analysis it is expected why you want to take your uh, two trades instead of one trade just to minimize the risk if you feel this entire area is uh, not acceptable at our risk uh, whatever the uh, the total risk is not at 
not at your accepted level, then take two separate trades. Okay, I consider these two as a two separate trades. Today what happened? See here. First price is entered into this uh, the fine-tuned five-minute zone inside the daily high liquidity zone is stopped out. So you can exit. Your stop loss is hit. Next again, price is entered here. You take a trade here. And what is the target? As usual, it is your 15-minute zone. You have a drop candle, two base candles and a drop candle. So prices reached this supply zone. That way, your M&M uh, finance, the first one, the stopped out one has given a loss 12, 1200 rupees, 1200 rupees. And uh, the negative ROI, the negative return on the investment is 0.95%, 0.95%. That means close to 1% is our risk because it hit the stop loss. And the second one is a successful. What is the second one? The bear trap. Immediately you have to take a trade from the bear trap. And the bear trap, it has given a profit 16,800 rupees, which is 13.31% return on the investment. It has given 13.31 ROI as per one future slot. So today all the all the executed trades has given an excellent profit. Very good ROI they have given. The least ROI is 8.78 that is ABFRL. And the highest one is LTI Mine Tree. That is LNT Mine Tree 27,315 rupees. 27,000 315 rupees, which is 15.85 ROI. And this one, this uh, M&M uh, finance is 13.31% uh, ROI with a profit 16,800, but the, the earlier trade is given a 1,200 rupees loss because you need to direct that loss. So finally, all these uh, zones, the last three stocks, they resulted as successful trades. So this is about uh, our stock analysis. Now let us generate demand and supply zones. Let us generate demand and supply zones for the stocks near demand and supply zones for all the time frames, starting from yearly time frame. Entry time frame is yearly. Let us find the stocks near yearly demand zone. No stocks are available. And yearly time frame, let us find stocks near yearly supply zone. So no stocks are available on yearly time frame. That is stocks near demand and supply zones. Now let us generate for half yearly time frame. Let us find stocks near half yearly demand zone. One stock is filtered. Half yearly time frame. Let us find the stocks near half yearly supply zone. So here also one stock is filtered. Let's go back. Now let us generate for quarterly time frame. Entry time frame quarterly. Let us filter the stocks near quarterly demand zone. So one stock is near quarterly demand zone. Let's go back for entry time frame quarterly. Let us find the stocks near quarterly supply zone. No stocks are filtered. Now let us generate for monthly time frame. Entry time frame is monthly. Let us find the stocks near monthly demand zone. So these four stocks are near monthly demand zone. So let's go back. Entry time frame is monthly. Let us find the stocks near monthly supply zone. So only one stock is available near monthly supply zone. 
Let's go back. Now let us generate for weekly time frame. Entry time frame is weekly. Let us find the stocks near weekly demand zone. So seven stocks are filtered. So let's go back. Entry time frame is weekly. Let us find the stocks near weekly supply zone. So two stocks are near weekly supply zone. Let's go back. Now let us generate demand and supply zones, I mean for daily time frame. Entry time frame is, entry time frame is daily. Let us find the stocks near daily demand zone. Only one stock is filtered, but this is not high liquidity zone. So we, did, we didn't have any daily high liquidity demand zones. Entry time frame is daily. Let us find the stocks near daily supply zone. So we have a big list. Total 25 stocks are filtered. Let us find high liquidity zones. High liquidity supply zones. This is Nifty Media is a indices. Nifty next 50 is also a counter trend setup. Zone is a high liquidity zone is available. Yeah, here Apollo Hospital. This is a high liquidity zone already tested five times. So that means you need to find tune properly at the, you need to look for a fresh 75 minute zone or a deep entry. But Apollo Hospital is, um, prices are moving between uh, high liquidity supply zone and high liquidity demand zone. But high liquidity demand zone is already pierced. That means we don't bother about this. But anyway, this is a stock near high liquidity supply zone. Any other high liquidity? And uh, Itcher Motors is a high liquidity supply zone, but this is a counter trend trading related supply zone, but fresh zone. It is a fresh zone. GNFC is a high liquidity supply zone. It is also a fresh zone. But it is already pierced, so we don't look into this stock. And Titan, this is also a high liquidity supply zone it is a counter trend trade setup supplies high liquidity zone so that's it these are all the high liquidity supply zones identified from daily supply zones okay let's go back next uh, time frame is 125 minutes time frame entry time frame is 125 minutes let us find the stocks near 125 minutes demand zone and these three stocks are filtered. Let's go back. Entry time frame is 125 minutes. Let us find the stocks near 125 minutes supply zone. So this is the filtered list. So total 18 stocks are near 125 minutes supply zone. So let's go back. Now let us generate for 75 minutes time frame. Entry time frame is 75 minutes. Let us find the stocks near 75 minutes demand zone. So these three stocks are near 75 minutes demand zone. But we don't have any high liquidity demand zones. So let's go back. Entry time frame is 75 minutes. So let us find the stocks near 75 minutes supply zone. So 10 stocks are filtered. Let us check any high liquidity zones are there. AU Bank is there, high liquidity zone, already tested five times. And 
and the birla soft is also a high liquidity supply zone but it is a counter trend trading related setup it is a fresh zone yes we have a polycap which is a fresh zone 75 minutes supply zone so these are the high liquidity zones identified from 75 minutes time frame now let's go back now let us generate for 25 minutes time frame entry time frame is 25 minutes let us find the stocks near 25 minutes demand zone so these five stocks are near 25 minutes demand zone let's go back entry time frame is 25 minutes let us find the stocks near 25 minutes supply zone so these four stocks are near 25 minutes supply zone let's go back let us generate for 15 minutes time frame entry time frame is 15 minutes let us find the stocks near 15 minutes demand zone so these four stocks are filtered let's go back entry time frame is 15 minutes let us filter the stocks near 15 minutes supply zone so eight stocks are filtered so let's go back next entry time frame is 5 minutes let us find the stocks near 5 minutes demand zone three stocks are filtered entry time frame is 5 minutes let us filter the stocks near 5 minute supply zone so these 10 stocks are filtered so this is the complete uh, filtered list for identifying the stocks near demand and supply zones for all the time frames i wish this information is useful to you let us uh, again generate our reports in our uh, i mean uh, let us meet again in our uh, next video tomorrow thank you